an edible landscape. Over here, we've got some cranberries. So I just take off my flip-flops right here. I love how you have a little discharge here. And folks, this is the filter. This is what a filter should look like. And you can see they're kind of worn out where they walk down in. <laughs> New Hampshire. And this is a earthen pond that you put a liner in and made into a rock pond. Right, this was a 30 by 60 or pond originally. It was dug by an excavation company and it dried up within the first year. And homeowners asked if there was anything we could do with it. We ended up finding the best solution was to fill it in and we built them a nice recreational swim pond. It's about uh, 25 by 30. Okay. Obviously, wetland and intake, external pumps. And a beautiful, beautiful countryside. And I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. And it's all about showcasing how people out here in Lyme, New Hampshire, live the aquascape lifestyle. Let's check out another beautiful aquascape ecosystem water feature. So Bill, you were recruited to work on this one? I was. Mr. Frost bought me in to pretty much drive truck. <laughs> <laughs> I love the accent. <laughs> and really cool house too. Da-da! Wow. Intake bay over there. Crystal clear water, some big boulders. Up top is the wetland, a couple chairs up there. So you actually did all the patio and the landscaping here just because you wanted it done right, huh? Right, April and I did this project. She did uh, all the garden work. Oh, I love these steps. This is really cool. Walk right across here. Go right up. Wow. And folks, this is the filter. This is what a filter should look like. There's nothing that will filter a body of water as well as a wetland filter. And you know, it's a natural design when you have chairs sitting up next to your wetland filter. That is the ultimate filter. That's the way a filter should look. You can't tell it's a filter. Right, it's just another part of the pond. And here comes the homeowners, huh? Erica that's coming up. With the two pups, I love it. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. I certainly is beautiful. I think so too. I'm the pond guy, Greg. Hi there, nice to meet you. Okay. Very yes, nice very to meet you. Nice and who are these guys? This is Nemo and this is Bryce and they love the pond as well. Oh, Nemo and Bryce. Nemo, yes. So what did this look like when you got here? This grass area from the long grass to the hillside slope was pretty much just an open pit of mud. And there was water here when I first came in the spring, but by July it was down to about a 10 by 12 area in the bottom. Like a 10 foot of water. 10 foot by 12 foot. Puddle. Puddle left. Mm -hmm. So we ended up filling that all in by taking this grade down three feet. See where the original grade was up there on the tree line. And the problem was you couldn't see, unless you were on the second floor, you couldn't even see the water. Right. So now you can see from even on the first floor, you can you can see the waterfall and you can see. Because it's lower. It's lower, yeah. Mm -hmm. So bringing that perspective down, which also gave us all the material to fill the pond back in so we could re-excavate 
for the rec home. So Sean, a lot of people don't really understand that. They're thinking of swimming pools. They don't understand the concept of a rec pond right. where in New Hampshire, you could enjoy this 365 days out of the year. So go through the construction process of what you actually did here. Like I said, we filled in the existing earthen bottom pond and, and graded this back down, dropped the grade. We're gonna create this outdoor living space that you can both enjoy from inside and outside the home. Uh, all year round. All year round. A couple of things, they wanted some interactive spaces. So this was done in two parts. We did the patio in the gardens in the second year. The first year we did the rec pond, including the wetland and the intake. This is about five feet deep. It's 25 by 30, roughly. There's a set of stairs that go. Oh, I see this. I didn't even notice this. Straight down Look here. at this. So I just take off my flip-flops right here. I love how you have a little discharge here. Yeah, it's to sweep the stairs, yep. keep them clean. Keep them clean. And you can see they're kind of worn out where they walk down in and then they just go and off to swim in something that's a natural body of water versus a chemical swimming pool. Exactly. This is enjoyable 365 days out of the year versus 90, and this is what they get to look at. Just truly spectacular. They really enjoy the interaction with the frogs and, and watching the different plants come and go. There's it's an edible landscape. These are all low bush blueberries and cranberries that are growing on the Oh ice. yeah, very natural looking, which is perfect out here in the woods. Yeah. Like why do you have to have a manicured landscape? So, and that's one thing they didn't want. It's something that was high maintenance and very manicured this is kind of in between for them. It really is. April, since you're the queen of the little details and you did all of the landscaping here, why don't you just take us around and how you did it? Well, over here, we wanted something that was really pretty easy going and they love herbs. So this here is just some thyme and some lavender. If you could smell this thyme, it smells like lemons, lemon yes. thyme. Yeah, if you just break, oh, a, yeah, break a piece right good. off. Yeah, <laughs> if they come out and it's sunny, then it'll smell like that without them doing anything to it. Then I along here, we've got blueberries Sod. Blueberry one. sod. Yeah, so it'll turn red in the fall. Uh -huh. It's got blueberries on it, but these are all native blueberries to us, so little alpine blueberries. And then as we come around, there's some various, we get a lot of water here, so these are various plants that do well in kind of wetland and mm -hmm. small situations. Some Virginia there right by the outcropping stone. This stone is going to stand on out here. Yes, destination boulder. Yeah. Over here, we've got some cranberries. We love to introduce those into the landscape wherever we cranberries. can. Cranberries, so, that is cool. Yeah, yeah, this one of the specialties up here in the north, they like the cold, so they grow along the edge there. You can see there's actually still a few blueberries out here. Oh yeah, I see them. On the blueberry bush. Yeah. Um, and then we introduced some other natives. So we've got some sweet spires, as well as some easygoing evergreens because they wanted something here in the yes. winter to look at as well. And this has only been three years since this is land, two years, because you did three the years. pond the first year, and then the landscaping yep. the second, and the patio at the same time. Yeah. This is the little details that you enjoy doing, the finishing touches, right? <laughs> Absolutely. It makes all the difference in the world, and I love the natural, you know, it doesn't need to be manicured. It fits the environment that we're in here. Yeah, try to bring a little bit of what's out in the woods back down into the yard. Fantastic. Okay, serious question. How much nicer is this natural pond than a swimming pool that's chemical? It's not organic. This is organic. This is natural. This is New Hampshire. This is in the middle of the woods, and I can't even picture a swimming pool being here. And a swimming pool you use for three months out of the year in a cold climate like this. Here, you can keep this waterfalls running year round. You can keep the nature and the wildlife that would come to something like this. This is so much more what people should be doing, but they don't have the perspective of how to do it. And that's exactly why I go out and do these vlogs to showcase to literally the world what they can have if you get a certified aquascape conjurer. This is not an easy project to build. There's a lot of excavation. There's a lot of heavy rocks that get put in here and it's the naturalization. It's making it look natural. If you're interested in getting a recreation pond in your yard, you need to get a certified aquascape conjurer. We're going to put the link below for those guys and I'm telling you what, right now, you will not regret living with an aquascape water feature. It's the most enjoyable and the most impactful thing that you can do in a yard. This is why I love to say, I love my job.